morning everybody today I have a new guest and uh, with my new guest of course we will be talking about uh, professional life of course cycling and family life and also today's guest is a very very performing cyclist now I'm going to meet him and see you in a couple of minutes. Bye! Good morning, Humphrey. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Humphrey. How are you? Hi, good morning, Ahmed. Very well, and you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Today, our new guest is Humphrey Hudson. He is CEO of Deloitte Turkey. Now we will be riding through many Hava and we'll be talking about family life professional life and especially cycling right absolutely yeah <laughs> okay see you guys Good morning everybody, today we arrived to the Rumeli Kava and a very wonderful view again. Let me show our bicycles. We parked our bicycles with Humphrey. <laughs> you see the bridge and the phosphorus and Istanbul from the other side. Now, uh, I think four weeks ago uh, we climbed up Toluda with Humphrey. And uh, Humphrey is a very performing cyclist because <laughs> When I arrived <laughs> to the summit, he was already waiting for me. <laughs> it was a lovely climb. Yeah, Beautiful yeah, climb. very, very yeah. lovely climb. Uh, Humphrey, how old are you? Uh, nearly 57. 57. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I think you climbed to the Uluda around 2 17, 2 hours, 17 minutes, 2 hours, 18 minutes, something like that. I, I can't remember the time. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that, 2 15 or something. Anyway, because yeah, it, it was, it a good was climb. much, much better than climb. me. Yeah. So, how long you've been cycling? Uh, I took it up just before I turned 50, actually. 50? Yeah, yeah. So uh, It's been, been 40 doing, years? No, six years. Six years? Just six, six years. years. When Sorry. I was, yeah, just before I turned 50, uh, I took up cycling. Yeah, okay. so I was, I was in Dubai at the time, yeah. So how did it happen within six years? You are a very, very performing cyclist. I know you for a long time, I think, yeah. in Turkey. Yeah. Well, I've done sport all my life, so I moved from... I used to be a rowing, in uh -huh. rowing, uh -huh. and I did that really seriously uh, for... 
for most of my life from the age of like 16. Okay. Uh, and then uh, when I got to Dubai, uh -huh. which I, I was lived in Dubai for six years, uh -huh. it was too hot really to, to row. It's a uh -huh. very, very intensive sport. And uh -huh. so someone told me, why don't you take up cycling, which is a kind of similar sport. Okay. Endurance sport, you know, leg based. Uh -huh. uh, so, you know, I've been fit all my life, so it was quite easy to move to a bike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. So, uh, you are CEO of Deloitte, yeah. you are a father and yep. you are a performing cyclist. How do you manage both? Yeah, well the father bit is easy because my kids are grown up. <laughs> How old they are? They're, How many kids you have? They're 28 and 26 oh and, my they, God. And, they, and, they, and they live in London and they work. So uh -huh. uh, I'm also very lucky. My wife, she also cycles. Yeah, she's, yeah, I she's know. Also, yeah. And Ruth, she's a very good swimmer, as you know, really oh, good, good swimmer. Very good. Uh, so she's very supportive. Um, uh -huh. So that's, that's part of it. I think the work bit and the cycling bit, you just have to prioritize. So work always comes first and yeah. if I have some spare time, Mm -hmm. I would occasionally get out in the week, like before work. Uh -huh. But you know, I try to make the mornings free for to go out and do sport. And I've always done that okay. uh, so at the weekend. At you the do weekend, cycling the, yeah. in the mornings and in the weekend. Every morning? Or? No, 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 no. Just so uh, the weekend morning, I Eight. keep free. Okay. And then hopefully in the summer, perhaps one morning a week, I go cycling. In uh -huh. the winter, I didn't. This year, I did nothing. I did uh, literally nothing in the week. Just weekend, so I try to do a bit more this year. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> so, uh, how do you manage your time? You know, I think you have to be. Uh, firstly, I try to delegate as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't ma micromanage people. I try to, I try to be very fixed in my time. So I always make sure I'm in the office around eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I've always got up early all my life, so that comes in. What time you get up? I always get up at six o'clock. Six, yeah. Yeah. Except at the weekend, I sometimes get up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been doing that. I did a when I was a kid. I did a paper. I delivered newspapers before uh -huh. school. So I was up really early. So yeah, you have to organizing your time is important. But you know, if you the more stuff you cram into your life, the more you do. I mean, that's what I believe. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's important not to waste time. Really, you know, I don't I don't waste a lot of time. I mean, to be honest, if you do more of one thing, you do less of something else. So I I don't spend a lot of time watching TV, for example, or that yeah. kind of stuff. There isn't time for it. But okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm happy that way. Okay, that's very very important. So uh, Humphrey, what are the effects of cycling to your life? You know, I can't imagine, I can't imagine not doing sport because I've done it all my life. It just makes you feel good. It makes you feel healthy about yourself. I think if you don't, if you just go to work and you do nothing else, you live uh -huh. in a bubble and there's a danger as a CEO that you really do live in a bit of a bubble and everything, uh -huh. you know, there's a hierarchy at work and you don't have that. When you get on a bike, you're the same as everyone else. You're just mm. a guy in a helmet. And the question is, how, how good are you on your bike? <laughs> so it's great. You get to meet a lot of different people. Uh -huh. um, it's a lot of fun. And I, I like the competition side of it. I like it when people are pushing up a hill. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, every, everyone has a good, uh, good laugh at the top, you know, but it's good yeah. fun. It's great fun. Okay. Yeah. So I think we will again organize a cart of a climb. Perhaps we, we will do it again. Yeah, I've heard about this legendary mountain. It's, <laughs> it sounds terrific. <laughs> okay, thank you. So Humphrey, you are CEO at Deloitte Turkey. So being a CEO is a very important thing, I think. It's, it's the top of the career, I think. So what are your messages to the people, especially who want to be successful at their careers? Yeah, I, I think the message I would say is I meet obviously a lot of CEOs and a lot of chairmen and people like that. Uh -huh. Not just here in Turkey, but around the world I have. And, you know, these guys, many of them have other interests and do other things. You know, the CEO of Boeing, he's a very keen cyclist, for example, as well. So, <laughs> and that's just the cycling. But there are plenty of examples. So, so don't feel that you just have to, if you work, it means there's nothing else left in your life. And I actually think it's good for you to come and do something different, to have uh -huh. a hobby. Yeah. To go have something so you can clear your mind yeah. um, and then come back to work. So if you're cycling, for example, it's like skiing. You have to concentrate very hard on yeah. the road because otherwise you'll you'll crash or get exactly. or get exactly. killed by a by a, a dolmosh, for example. Yeah. <laughs> and there's one just passing now. Exactly. So you have to be really careful. So you have to concentrate very hard. So it takes your mind off work. And I think that's good. It clears your head and then you can come back to work and feel refreshed. So you actually feel feel better by doing this. I think my own view is it's been important, you know, it's like I call it the four pillars of life. 
One is your family and friends. The yeah. second is your brain, your, yeah. which is your work. This, the third is your body, which is your yeah. sport. And the fourth is your soul, which is kind of the arts, your music, or what, yeah. all those kind of things. And if you can do all four of those successfully, that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Let me say it again, the four issues. The one is your brain. The yes. The second is your body. Yeah. The third is your soul, and the fourth is your family and friends. Your family and yeah. friends. I yeah. think let's your relationships. Your family, your your family like. and friends. Let's put them to the first. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't putting them in any order. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, thank you for joining me, and also accept my invitation. It was a very, very pleasure for me to have you here. But uh, I think the sun is about to rise. It's magnificent. Yeah. It's exactly. Yeah. exactly. Again, see the this view and we are lucky that we don't have wind <laughs> exactly so uh, today we had a wonderful interview with uh, Humphrey and all I got my, in my mind from this conversation is that let's put just uh, life into the four cycles one family and friends the second is the body the third is the soul and the fourth is the it's the mind it's the mind <laughs> you're putting that forth <laughs> all the time <laughs> Okay, thank you guys. Uh, this is my YouTube channel and I will, uh, I think this is the seventh of my Ironman talks. We will keep doing that and uh, thank you for watching us. Please stay with us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Have a nice thank day. You. Bye bye.